So I've just been talking to myself. <laughs> I thought it was on live already and I've just been having a whole conversation. Oh my goodness. Hi everyone. So what I just said to myself was self. <laughs> I am very chaotic tonight. Um, I just mentioned that to Tara. Hey Callie. Hey Tara. And I, I have a lot of things, but I've shown a lot of them already in my videos. So I'm going to help you. Or I'm going to ask for your help to guide me and ask me questions. And hopefully there's a lot of things that I've tried that I just don't have in front of me because I used to work at Sephora. So if there's anything that you have questions about, I hopefully will be able to answer it for you. And in the meantime, I will do my makeup with whatever matches my skin right now. I'm pretty red. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to match me. I have a lot of colors that are quite dark because I self tan all the time, but I haven't been doing that as much lately. So that'll be interesting. I actually want to get, and it's in my cart, I'm getting the white, um, what is it? The house labs, the color white, because I want to mix it in with some other colors that I have that are too dark and see if that'll help me it's kind of save me some money. I do have one in Mac. This one is, yeah, face and body foundation, and it's a white, so I can mix it. But the problem with that, <laughs> excuse me, is it's going to change the texture of everything. But I can do that. So when I saw that House Labs has a white color, I thought, oh, I could really save myself a lot of money. I'm having a hard time talking. <clears throat> really save myself a lot of money by just mixing in a white and making it, making my own color. So let's see if you guys are on here yet. Um, and I just blew dry my hair. Okay. One thing I'm going to talk about first. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, you guys, you probably can't even hear me. Hold on a second. Oh my goodness. I didn't even have my mic down, you guys. Can you hear me now? Ah. Hey, Antonia. Oh my gosh. Can you guys hear me? I am a mess. Hold on. <laughs> Were you guys even able to hear what I just said? Hey, Amy. Oh my God. Too funny. Okay. So let me give you a lowdown on my day today. I actually, um, I should have been spending more time getting ready for tonight, but I have my whole family coming tomorrow. I think there's about 25, maybe more people coming tomorrow. And okay, thank you, Callie. Um, so I really spent a lot of time doing that because they're coming maybe around 11 o'clock in the morning and I, I just wanna relax when they get here. So I got a lot of stuff done today, but I'm exhausted and I'm a little disorganized. So I'd like to start off with skincare first. Um, the main thing that I use for skincare on the daily. Now I switch it up all the time because I try to test things out. Skincare, not as much because I only have one face. So I don't know how, how people do that and really get a good feel for what they like. Um, how are you feeling up to full? Yes, you know, I, um, I'm up to it. I actually got new cleaners. Um, I shouldn't say that because I haven't talked to the old cleaners yet. Um, I tried out some new cleaners because uh, the cleaners that I had and have still um, is the the one of the ladies, uh, the lady that does it. She isn't well, so I don't feel good about her cleaning my house. Anyway, long story short, I had some cleaners come in yesterday, so the house is nice and clean. And I cleaned yesterday and I got some food ready. So and my mom does a lot of it and it's a potluck. So everybody's pitching in uh the problem i run into a lot with my foundations end up looking too yellow i have a liquid bronzer i sometimes mix in um <clears throat> there are certain brands actually tara that run yellow i find i find that nars does that and <clears throat> there are a couple that do that they run quite yellow so which ones are, can you tell me which ones you're using tara and I can help you. Would you consider yourself a warm, a neutral, a cool? Let's help you from there. Hey, Lola. So, 
Okay, let's get on to skincare. And I, I want to help uh, Tara with her question. Tara, are you like, are you fair like me? Or, and are you drugstore, Sephora? What, what category are you looking in? Um, okay, so let me go through some skincare while we're waiting for Tara to answer. On the daily, I use the exfoliator. This is the 6% um, mandelic acid and 2% lactic acid. I use this once a day. So I will put this on after my shower. I'll use my skincare. My skincare usually kind of, it varies depending on how dry I am. Hey, Melinda, how are you? So at nighttime, oh, let me finish with the, oh, I don't have it. I use a hydrating serum. Um, and then I'll use my Tatcha. So my Tatcha goes on in the morning after my shower. And that's what I haven't put on yet. Maybe that's why my skin is so dry. It's probably why my skin is so red. Hey, Stein, how are you? Um, quite, I'm quite fair and a little oily. Okay. Really, the Shiseido. So what color are you in the Shiseido? What about... Um, what about a little oily, eh? What about Dior? Like Dior, what kind of coverage are you looking for? That's a good question. Dry old skin, toner recommendations. You know what? I That's what I would use because this gets, this removes the dead skin. So that's what I look for is I wanna exfoliate gently exfoliate. I actually use a washcloth too, which also helps exfoliate my skin. I also shave my face, which helps. Um, and I use this. I, I don't generally go for a toner, to be honest. I have been trying out this softener, the Shiseido softener. I don't know. I don't know if it's doing anything. It's kind of hard to tell. Stein's asking how everybody's doing. Yeah, how is everybody doing? Is is everybody celebrating Easter? I don't want to assume that I'm not really religious. So for me, it's just a gathering of people. It's an excuse to get together. Oh, I have to get my towel. Um, so I'll use that. And if this is too heavy sometimes, like if it, I, I actually never find that this is too heavy because I don't put my makeup on right away, although I am tonight. But um, this soaks in by the time I get my makeup on. Hey, Kelly, how are you doing? I do have good luck with your, but I love the finish of the Shiseido. So the Shiseido, I don't have that. Um, I didn't put it out in front of me because I'm having a hard time finding a color. This was kind of a Sephora thing. They do have it, but they don't have enough colors on Sephora. I don't know why. So I wonder, that's the Synchro Skin or the uh, or the Radiant Lift? You use Tatcha as well? Yeah, it's good. Like I, I like a richer cream though. Some people wouldn't like that. So if you don't like a richer cream, then that won't be for you. But I like to feel it on my face. Not necessarily, where's Jody? Hey Jody. Jody, did you get my message today? I left you a message on one of my other videos. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Yeah, so if I don't use this, I will use something lighter. And I have a couple that I mix in between, mix it up with. Off topic of that though, do you, has anyone used this? This is the Tan Lux Illuminating uh, Self Tanning Drops. Yeah, Synchro, okay, 150 Lace. I love the Synchro Skin. I need it in my non-tanned color. I love it. The one that I have right now doesn't match. Um, so I will put this in my moisturizer. Actually, I mix, mix it into my hydrating serum often. I'll just do a few drops. So this is what it looks like. And usually the tan wears off of my face first. So I'll just put a few drops in into my moisturizer, into my serum, and I sleep with it on. That will be in my nighttime routine. And it always gives me a really nice glow the next day. So that is something that I've tried and I've repurchased a few times. I don't know if anyone's used that or not, but I do really like it. It's 
Yeah, it's just really natural. And you can, you, uh, oh, you use the Coco Eve. Is it tanning drops to the Coco Eve? I'm happy being pale. <laughs> you look good, pale. Do you know what? I feel like if I hadn't had so much sun damage, I would I would really like my fair skin. But I don't know. I find it just makes me look a little bit healthier. But you also have darker hair, Stein. So I like I'm fair with fair skin, and I feel like I just need something to give me color. I should eventually put some color on. I do want to talk about my night cream though. My night, um, I always, I've been using this for almost a year now, maybe over a year, a year. So this is the Murad Retinol. This is the night treatment. And I just added the eye treatment. This was gifted and I have worked with the company. This is not sponsored, but I worked with them and I liked it. So I've just stuck with it. And I, hey Lisa, how are you? Uh, it comes off splotchy. What does your, your, your tan? It can come off splotchy. Oh, I didn't bring that in. Jody, I asked you if you'd do a live with me, if you get on here one time with me. So I've been using, I didn't bring it in with me, but I, and I'm all out the, it's called, it's pharmacy and it's a 12% AHA body serum I believe and I also use a retinol as well that one is from the drugstore that is from oh uh, I'll post it I'll put it in the description box for you but I love the pharmacy it actually you can feel it working a little bit it's very serum -y. it doesn't feel heavy or anything but I use that all the time now on my legs and my arms and my skin is so much smoother plus my tan goes on better because it's just continuously exfoliating when I use it tan doesn't last as long but I, I would prefer that so it doesn't look too dark and splotchy. I'm celebrating with my 23-year-old son, Jack and Julie, and I have so much in common with the chronic, oh, yeah, oh. Let's I would, I'd love that. I'd love that, Lola. Um, yeah, Justin's coming home tomorrow, and I've got, I haven't even seen my other daughter who only lives a half an hour away, but she's, with her boyfriend and she doesn't drive so i don't get to see her and she works and goes to school so happy easter yeah i i'm excited we got some kids coming tomorrow so i'm excited to see them i'm excited to see everybody miss oki <laughs> jody yeah they're barking i don't know who's here my husband left okay so let's go on any other skincare I'm not the best at skincare. I think I've mentioned that before. I like what I like and I don't, I do know I love a vitamin C. I love hydration, sun protection, of course, anything to exfoliate. And this has been my favorite that I've been trying and uh, love Jergens. Okay. I have heard about that. Um, it prevents the splotches. Okay. So do you just use that or do you use a mousse on top of that? Transderma facial oils, retinol, and moisturizer are so expensive, but they're for sale. Really? Transderma. So where do you get that, Callie? Sorry, I'm already. Dr. Sam L. I want to try her line, the Pequel. Prequel, not Pequel. <laughs> Prequel. I have, I have tried. Um, I like it. I do find I kind of get irritated by the end of the day with Paula's Choice, but a lot of people love it. I think it's just my skin. So the one the one that I use all the time, it's not from um, Sephora. And we don't have to stick with Sephora talk here. The one that doesn't irritate my skin at all is this one. And you can get it on Yes Style or I always... I always do have a link for you in my description box. Um, yes, Style and Stylevana has it. Um, Amazon has it. The Stylevana and Yes, Style have it on sale right now. It's really, really inexpensive, but it's so good. But it, I think it's just me. Like the feel of the Polish Choice is really nice. 
it's just towards the end of the day i feel i almost feel like i need to hydrate i don't know why um lynn hi julie have you tried the Il ilia face milk i haven't i haven't tried that should i put it in my cart you should see my cart i have to narrow it down i think i have 44 things in there <laughs> just to try Coco and even Micromist tanning for, oh, okay. I don't know that one. Where do you get that one? Ooh, Swiss brand, okay. Uh, it helps absorb a little bit of oil, so that might be why, okay. That's probably why, because I feel it a little tight and tingly by the end of the day, and I just feel like I want to put something on to make myself comfortable again. Okay, Kelly, you guys, I wish, oh, okay, my website is now working. It doesn't get my email fast to me. I still haven't figured that out, how to do that, um, but it, it will get to me. So it's the julie-meikle, M-E-I-K-L-E.com, and you can contact me through there if you want to send me anything. I know, the cart, we all need to delete, delete, we do. Okay, let me go on with, so that's a bit of skincare. Um, let's go on with foundation. Does anyone have questions regarding, um, I have so much in front of me. So I have Armani Silk. I have It CC Cream, Halo, um, Smashbox. Um, this one, I love this one. I saw your website, Julie, early, uh, really. Oh, good, Callie. I bought the Max Serum. You rec oh, good, Lynn. I'm so glad. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. And I loved your um, Forever Skin Glow. I just don't have it in my color right now. I'm much too light, I think, for this one. For, um, I have used, let me see. We need to take a vote. Um, I've got the House Labs, Lancome. Uh, are we looking for a, is there anything that you guys want to, See, like I have the Makeup Forever HD. This is not the new one though. It's the original or the, they have different ones, I believe. So I've got the Merit Stick Foundation, really like that one. Also the serum. Oh, I don't think you can get this at Sephora. Never mind. I don't believe you can get that. And everything else seems to be a little bit too dark. I can tell you what I wasn't. Hey, Tina. I can tell you what I wasn't, I was surprisingly not thrilled with, but it's, oh, good. You do, I, I do too, Amy. All right, stick foundation. That's my vote. Okay, perfect. So a couple of foundations that are all the, everybody talks about them all the time. But because I have hyperpigmentation, these don't really do what I want them to do. So has anyone else had that experience with them? I think they're great for when I hear of makeup artists talking about these brands, they're oftentimes working with celebrities and with models who have had all the skin, skin treatments, who look after their skin, who don't have all of this hyperpigmentation that I have. And I really feel like that's why they can get away with these things. I can get away with it too, but I have to then go on and add something else. They're just not as much coverage. But if you layer over tinted SPF, it, it would, it would, right? So that gives you more coverage, Kelly. Yeah, let me just try. I don't know if this is even a match for me. Hold on. So this is the, everybody was talking about this. And of course, I didn't put my contacts in tonight, so I can't see a dang thing. <laughs> That's how busy I was. Yeah, so, and for freelancing, now do you freelance with more celebrity clientele or do you freelance with weddings? And oftentimes with weddings, you're dealing with really young skin who often don't have a lot wrong with it. their skin or not wrong, but you know, they don't have the flaws. Okay, so this is the light reflecting foundation. Oh, did I shake well? And this is in Santa Fe, bridal. Uh, 
And I always had a hard time with the colors. Watch it work now. <laughs> But it off it, I'm really red, guys. I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'm really, really red. I'm not normally this red. I mean, it's okay. It looks like skin. But I don't know. Watch it work now for crying out loud. Let me just see. I have a flipping drawer full of foundations. With, uh, me too. So uh, what do we 50-year-old gir girls need? I don't know. I'm finding, is that now working? Oh, for God's sake. This is why I'm so afraid to say things. What does that look like to you? Experimentation. <laughs> well, you should see if I could show you my stuff right now. And that's what I mean. Half of things don't work for me. They're the wrong color. Yeah, like this bothers me. See how that's all popping through? I don't know. I don't know, just for the cost, because I can literally get this type of coverage in a Revlon skin tint. So I don't know. It just doesn't. It's kind of not bad, though, is it? <laughs> oh, OK. Well, let's keep that on. Plus, I'm really hydrated right now. Um, Lisa, where are you? We talked about, for Lisa, we talked about the Bosma, right? Is any, does anyone have oily skin? I want to just point out the top picks for oily skin. Stick Foundation is Bosma. Of course, Estee Lauder Double Wear is really good. And the Dior Forever Foundation is really good. Although, Lisa, I don't think you liked it. Right, Infallible and Color Stay are both just amazing. They are. I mean, do I want nice packaging? Sure, but... Uh, okay, let's go on with the Merit. Okay, this would be a good test, actually, because this is very natural and sheer. And the Merit is as well. It's a decision between... Yes, are you talking about the colors? Hang on. Do you self-tan, Jody? Okay, let me test... And can't see a thing. This is too yellow. I think that's my tanned color. Oh my gosh, I can actually see my face on camera <laughs> with glasses on. Uh, yeah. Do you find? I don't find it is. Hang on. No, I can't smell anything, Callie. I mean, there's a slight, maybe slight hint of a smell. Please show how it's different than the liquid for application. Okay, so that is, I'm sure, bisque. And then I have it in linen. It's so strange with my face being so red right now. I don't know what's happening. Oh, shoot. Okay, this has happened a couple of times, though, guys. The Look at it. That's happened in two. Now, is that because it's older? Interesting. I don't have that happen with, like, the hourglass. Maybe I'm thinking of Chanel. Oh, it might be. I haven't tried Chanel. Let me see if I, like I have some of these. Definitely a difference in texture. Okay, that's the hourglass. That might be a better match. Whew, I'm red. Oh, I know, me too, Jody. So then you have to match your, Merit is, the... oh, the Merit falls apart on you too, Tara? Wait, who said that? Um, Jody, you said that. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. Let me put just a little bit right there and see. Oh, I got a bunch of Sephora brushes out for you guys tonight to stick with the program. 
But in the midst of that, I found some Real Techniques brushes too. <laughs> so I, I wanted to try to start using a little bit more budget friendly for people. I liked the Fenty stick, Kelly, but I, oh, it was too slick. But what are you, what are you prepping your skin with? See, that's what I found in my video where I used the Revlon Illuminant Skin Tint. It was so slick. So the next time I used it, I just put it over foundation, or sorry, I just put it over serum and it felt really nice. And there was another one. Oh, it was this, um, this one, the Shiseido Foundation. It's so um, skin, it's very skincare feeling. So with this, I really have to watch what I put underneath. I don't prep as, as with a rich moisturizer. I know that that's going to make me feel very hydrated. So I lessen it. Um, well, I wanted to show you something. So here is Angie Hot and Flashy. I, I would say that I prefer BK Beauty. But there is Sephora. So Sephora, Angie Hot and Flashy, the exact same thing. And I don't know what the price is. In fact, actually, this is a little bit smaller, the Sephora brush. This is a number, oh God, I've had this for a long time. Still brushes from your kit when you were, yes, oh, I do. Oh my gosh, you should see them. So this is a number, Pro Concealer number 71. And this, this is old quite, I would say it's older than the Angie Hot and Flashy. Oh, I have a little bit of a, I'm going to be giving something away. I don't know when I'm going to announce that. And where's something else? I think I might have a couple of things to give away. I'm not sure. But I do have one really good one that I'm going to give away soon. Uh, makeup forever stick, you know, you, I've had, yeah, me too. I had a bunch of those, the makeup forever sticks. Okay. Let me get this in. I'm getting so distracted. Okay. Good. Is that matching? I feel like that's matching. Let's just go all the way. Let's go all the way. Isn't that a song? Oh my gosh, that's an 80s song, I think. Oh, Stein, you're so sweet. Okay. So I'm pushing this into my skin a little bit because, I don't know, my skin feels kind of inflamed right now, so I can see a bit more texture. But you can swipe. No, that feels good. Okay. That feels nice. That looks good. Hey, Anna. Okay. I wonder if it's the way we store them, Jody. These, like, maybe they have to be stored like a lipstick sitting up. I don't know. Because it feels good. It doesn't feel like the product's gone bad or anything. Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, I need now I need to play it. And the merit stick there that matches nice, eh? Uh, Kimbra. Where's Kimbra? Oh, there she is. Hi. Okay, I'm going to use the same one actually for my concealer. Let's see what this does. I'm going to use the same brush. Oh, wait. Maybe I'll do this one. Let me do my, so this brush here, the Sephora, um, I guess, so that will be, is anyone a Rouge? Rouge member, so that would be 20% off. Hold. 56, 56 or 53, I can't see. Oh, wait, no, it's a 56. So that's what I use to pounce that in. It does. That's why you always have to rub in your um, your foundation. You have to blend that in. And you have to see if it oxidizes or not. That's the other thing. I'm 
Okay, so that's one stick. I feel like it looks a little not the best under my eye. Not trying, but still rouge. <laughs> Just for that 20% off though. They have a good deal going there. <laughs> I want to be rouge to get the 20% off. It's so sad. Okay, that looks better actually. Once I push that into my skin underneath, I feel like that looks better. Okay, so yeah, I think this coverage looks better than this. Does anybody see that or is it just me? For the price, you expect more from the Merit? Yeah, me too. I'm not a fan. Jody. have you tried the blush? I feel the blush is the same. Like it, the blush and the contour, we were talking about the contour the other day. It's really good for people that don't wear foundation or don't need coverage because it's really moist. I knew you would be Jody. Of course you're a rouge. <laughs> oh, you are too, Amy. <laughs> so, all right. So the difference for me is clear that I like the Merit better than the NARS. Oh, you like the blush? But do you, oh, do you find it last though, Amy? Yeah, it does, eh? I feel like that looks good. And you up close in my magnifying mirror, you can't see any makeup at all. People on YouTube like Merit, but I don't care for it. Yeah, it's, I like the stick. I don't like that it's falling apart, but I do like the stick and I do like that I can travel with it. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe that's why this is falling apart on me. I'm not sure. I mean, it's fixable. It's like losing a lipstick. And I, I do like that you can stick it in your purse and touch up. That's what I really like about it. Wondering if, um, let's see, like, do you like, what's your favorite foundation? How do you say your name? Elkids? Is that your real name? El I powder with the, oh, okay, that's why, Amy. Okay, what color is this? This is bisque. I'm just going to put it beside the hourglass. Is that okay? Are we good with that? Let's see what color. Oh, very nice. Wait a second. Alans. Alans, that's your name? The face wash is great. Dr. Sam Ellis prequel. Okay, that's not it. So it's bisque. I have a few different colors in hourglass. My makeup is well used, so don't judge. It's I didn't have time to clean any of it before I got on here. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, L cut L cuts. All right, so I'm going to use Hourglass on this side. I don't know what kind of match it is, but we'll see. And apparently I got a lot on my brush. Well, thanks for being here. I think this is the first time you've been here, or the first time you've chatted with us anyways. Okay, so this has much more coverage. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And... I haven't used this in a long time, actually. My name is Amel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So where did you get your screen name from? How do people make up their screen names? So what would your skin tone be then, Amel? There, this is blending in nice. Anyone use this one before? I love that name. Of course, <laughs> compared to my neck, I'm so red. So yesterday, oh yeah, I'm, that's crazy. I like that too, though. So if you were oilier, would you choose the Hourglass or the Merit? Um, 
if you're oily, Tara, I might choose the Basma if you're like oily. That's what I thought, Alma. Beautiful. Um, I would say you could probably wear both depending on your skin prep. So prepping your skin for, for a cream product and setting it with powder. I would say that the they're both creamy. Hourglass gives more coverage, but they're both buildable. So here I can see my redness popping through and I don't think I'm gonna have that with the hourglass. Thanks, Callie. Callie's so cute. She was on here talking to me before we got on. How do you apply the other stick? Same, same idea. So I don't know. The coloring system is very different for Bosma. I think the, the higher the number, the lighter the color it is. Let me see what I have here. Hold on. And mine are very similar, the ones I chose. So I have 34, 35, 30, and 29. And I believe 29 might be the darkest. So that is 29. And I've worn Bosma and it worked for me. I just hydrated well underneath, that's all. Yeah, and that one's 34. So this one is 29, that one's 34. This one is more for me when I have a self tan. I'm sorry, I'm blocking my microphone. I could, did I put some on my forehead already? And my girlfriend, um, so, so Lisa, this would be good for you. I know you like your Estee Lauder foundation, but this might be good for you if you're traveling or, you know, if you just want to touch up throughout the day, but I know, I don't think you really have to touch up much throughout the day with your Estee Lauder, but this, this is worth a try. I don't know how expensive it is. I can't remember. I have an itch. Sorry. I use the hourglass dim to set. Yeah. So I'm going to give the hourglass a try. I, I really like it. Yeah. I remember Tati Westbrook talking about this all the time and I also worked there. So I used it a lot on others. Just depends on if you like a stick or not. I would say the feeling of merit is a little bit lighter, but I also applied quite a bit. You don't need that much. I don't put I don't put up for something new. Yeah, I think I think I mentioned that to you, to you before, Lisa. If you're going to try a stick, then that's that's the one I would go for for a oily skin. I can't talk. <laughs> I just took the hourglass primer back. Not good. Oh, oh no, I haven't tried their primer. So if you have normal skin type, the pink foundation would be good on a hot day. Yes, yes, yeah. I would say so. Here's the thing, I can make anything work. I think oily skins probably have a little bit more of a difficult time than a normal or normal to dry or dry skin. Well, if you're extremely dry, yeah, so if you're oily or if you're extremely dry, you have a little bit of a difficult time, I think. For me, I'm normal to dry, more dry, but I'm normal to dry. So if I have a matte foundation, say Estee Lauder Double Wear, I can make that work. I just really hydrate well underneath. Like I would use my Tatcha cream, this one, my dewy cream or something else. It doesn't have to be Tatcha. It can be anything that's more, more rich. And then if I'm, um, and then if I'm using something like this, that's very hydrating, then I prep differently. And it's the same with, it's the same with everything. Oily skin people really need to be careful. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. And especially if you're acne prone. So, or even, um, you also have to be careful if you deal with rosacea, I think, because that can, it depends. Yeah, especially after a few hours, for sure. So even like a, an oilier skin, and it again depends on the coverage that you're looking for. Um, what other ones do you like? Lisa, I was thinking about your mom, Lisa. So um, I worked, 
Let's see. I tried the it's CC cream on again the other day. And for me, this sits heavy on my skin if I use it alone and if it's not properly prepped. But the other day when I used it, I loved it and I showed it in a video, but my skin was really nicely prepped. So it slid on so easily, but this can look a little heavy on me. Has anyone tried this one before and, it, and felt that it looked a little bit heavy or because it's, it's a long wear, it's long wear. And that sometimes those long wears on a dry skin can feel a little bit heavy, but I can make it work and it, and make it look beautiful, but just by changing my prep. Kalahari, what's Kalahari? I missed something, Stein. I'm Sahara. You're Sahara, you're dry like the desert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and the Estee Lauder stays for sure. And Mac Studio, Studio Fix will stay as well. And Jody, you were saying that the, the Dior Forever doesn't stay as well for you as the Estee Lauder, right? So it just depends, but it, I think it, oh, good. Oh, good. I keep wanting to check in on her. That's amazing. So, so that's what I'll do. So Ruth, Lisa's mom, Ruth, I had her switch it up a little bit because it was looking a little heavier and it was kind of sitting in her pores a little bit. And so we mixed it. Which one is this one? Yeah, your skin, but better CC cream. This one has a lighter texture it's more hydrating let me show you it's very visible and that's often what I'll do is I'll mix the two so I get the long wear of the CC cream the and then the smoothness and the hydration wait which one's which okay so this one is the regular they're wet right now so you can't even tell but this is the nude, the nude serum. It's lighter. It's more hydrating. Those two mixed are so good. And I'll do that too with the Dior. Not that you want to spend all the money that I spend, but I'll do that too. I'll mix the Dior Forever with the Dior Forever Skin Glow. And I get that glow, but the long wear. Now you're looking at Bosma. I might have to get the Bosma and the Hourglass. Tara, you, you have the oily skin. If you're dry like Stein, you wouldn't get Bosma, I don't think. You would find that too dry. Oh, yeah. I love mixing foundations. Oh, be your own mixer. I suggest that. Because I have all these products here in front of me. I don't want to let them go to waste. So if I see, say something like, I've got this one, Laura Mercier. Look at how dark I thought I was. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I have never in my life been this dark. I need to give this away. So this is 3N Buff. And I have 2N one and a half beige. This one matches me better, I think. And I'll mix. I'll mix it. Or maybe, you know, maybe, maybe something's really light, but... And, I, and then I can see this in my collection. I'm like, oh, I'll just add a little bit of this and deepen it up. So don't let those things go to waste. Yeah, right, Callie? You're your own little mixer. And, it, and it's fun. You know, that's the whole thing. It's just supposed to be fun. And that's what we do. I was actually, I'm going to meet this girl on Tuesday night. It's actually a very long time ago. I dated her dad. And I mixed her Dior Forever with a little bit. Oh, do you? Perfect, Amy. See? So, okay, let's take a look at this. I actually, looking at this, I like the, I like both, but my eye is drawn to the hourglass more so. But I think it's because I'm seeing a bit of red pop through there. So I'm meeting uh, this girl. I've never met her in person, but I've met her online. And she's an ex-boyfriend's daughter I think she's in her 20s and she's a makeup artist and she was asking me what foundations to get because she wanted to up her kit like make it better and I said one of the biggest things that I regret out of being a makeup artist in my career was thinking that I had to have all the best and that I had to have it all and 
you don't because all you need is a little bit and then you can mix it all together. You can find a way to make it work, save your money. You don't need it all, you know, but then there's me that really wants to have fun. And this is the career path I've chosen. But when you're a professional makeup artist and you're walking around with a kit, I was so stupid. <laughs> I was walking around New York city with a suitcase so big and I just didn't need all of that stuff. So I'm going to teach her. I'm getting, getting online with her on Tuesday and I'm going to go through some things with her, but okay. We, here we go. A story ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So funny. And, and I, I don't know, he reached out to me. I've always been able to be friends with ex-boyfriends, not my ex-husband, but, and that's just cause you know, I think you guys all know that story. I need something on my lips. What did I do with my little thing? Spill it, Julie. This guy, he was so nice um, and he was so funny. He made me laugh, which is the reason I dated him to begin with. Cause he just, he, he would have myself, my mom and dad cracking up. Um, but he wasn't for me. He, I remember at the time uh, I found out that he lied about his age, like by a year or two, but that really got me. I really, that bothered me. And I kind of, yeah. So I, I broke it off, but I also, there, I'm going to use my, this is that new one, Summer Fridays in Vanilla Beige. Uh, anyway, very nice guy. And just one of those life of the party people. But I think it was partly too, because I wanted to, I knew where I was living wasn't the place for me. And that's, if I had stayed with him, it would have kept me there. So there was a little bit of both. And then I went off to be a hairstylist at that time. And um, yeah. So, okay. Skin is good. Looking red, but good. Maybe I should go over that a little bit with the, I just feel like I'm makeup expert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got thinking, cause I, I watched my videos back a little bit just so that I can remember what I used for the description box to put everything in. And there was a comment on there that I really wanted to go back to. Where did I put? Oh, bisque. There it is. And uh, it was, I think, Tracy. I don't know if Tracy's here tonight. But she had talked about, um, she'd asked me if I found it hard aging because I was beautiful. And I, I watched that back and I'm like, but my goodness, everybody everybody has insecurities. I was the worst for insecurities and everybody's beautiful. Like this is why we all date different people. This is why we are all attracted to different people. Thank goodness, because we're all attracted to different looks. Like I may not be beautiful to somebody and that's okay. And anyway, it got me thinking like I, I really, Oh, the insecurities. I actually went through some of my storage area stuff last night because I had to put it back in the storage area. I was trying to organize it, but all the kids are going to be here tomorrow and they like to play downstairs. So I put it all back, but I have a lot of photos from when I was a kid. I was thinking that I I did a little bit, Cali. Not, not much, though. Um, I was going to pull out some pictures of myself. Like, I, oh, I was so insecure. I only started kind of feeling good about myself probably probably within the last 10 years maybe like like thinking I'm okay the way I am and not wishing I looked like somebody else anyone else I modeled a little bit when I was in New York but my modeling, it was like I'm five six, and I'm a, at the time size ten, size eight. I've never been lower than a size eight. And my customer, I like I was called a commercial model, excuse me, actor, whatever. I'm not an actor, that's for sure. I tried not, and not to my somebody kind of pushed me to do that. So I go for auditions, and I would go for go sees. And I would get hired like com by companies like IBM, Thermospa. Um, I went for a Chuck E. Cheese commercial um, audition a few times. They liked me. They'd call me back. Scholastic Books was another one because I could be the mom of the child. 
So that's the kind of job I got. I got. It wasn't anything like sexy. There was no sexiness going on there. Julie, name the one dummy that did not think you're beautiful. Oh, there have been many, Callie, many. Oh, he said he was old. No, he said he was younger, Anna. Makeup and X podcast. Oh, yeah, I got that one. So, no, there have been many, but it was, you know, I, and it was girls too. Girls are mean. How many girls were mean to me in school? It wasn't just boys. But it, you know, and I believed it. That was my thing as I believed it. And I, I let other things influence my life to make me think I had to be, so, and, you know, I looked different. I was never skinny and I was very athletic and I had red hair, freckles and a space between my teeth and glasses. And so it, but it's all in the eye. It's all in, Yeah. Like some people, my kids can look at uh, my daughters, for example, they can look at somebody and say, oh, he's so cute. And I'm like, really? <laughs> like, what are you thinking? But we're, girls were the worst in school, right? So, you know, that's why my husband looks the way he does. And, and you might be attracted to a different, it's, that's the way it works. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Not everybody likes gingers with freckles. Yes, that's exactly it, Alma. Like I, Alma, I used to want to look like you. Like I wanted the dark skin, the brown eyes, the darker hair. I don't know if you have darker hair, but I'm assuming you may. And I just thought, oh, your skin will look so beautiful. You never, you don't have the freckles. You don't have the pink in your skin. And you're, oh, just gorgeous. You did, Jody. I, I would assume that. I saw your picture today. I went on your, to find you, I went on to your, uh, your YouTube channel. I'm not getting any makeup on. Girls can be nasty, especially gel. Yeah, they really can. And I look at those girls now and I would never wish badly on them. Um, oh, you are 5'9", Jody. That's the perfect. Between beauty and anorexia. Well, that was happening because I was a makeup artist more than anything when I lived in New York. And I was dealing with agency models and I was helping them with their um, photos for their comp cards and for their portfolio and uh oh see alma you'd be so beautiful that's gorgeous that's i always wanted to be like you <laughs> and this one girl in particular she was living off of cornflakes with no milk no nothing because everybody kept telling her, her hips were too wide well she was so skinny i just thought oh god i in my life i would never want that for my daughter never um, have you been seeing what's going on with that P. Diddy whole thing? Anyone watching that? I, I just, oh, thanks, Alma. You know, I, I'm okay with my looks now, but, you know, I was made fun of for being fair, freckled, a redhead. Um, popcorn for, what's that? What's that little, and I think, I think everybody has something. Yes. Didn't, did he leave the country? I, I did hear that, that he may have, may, may have fled the, I can't speak, may have fled the country and holy cow, you know, I'm, I don't ever want to think that somebody did something without proof, but come on, not this all wouldn't be going on if there wasn't something to it. Right. And then I saw a picture, a little video of poor Justin Bieber with him when he was young and first starting out. And I thought, oh, God, what did he see? Diddy is going down. All the people in power are going down. Eventually, they're going down. Everybody's like everybody's waking up to it or just like they're being found out. Hey, Linda, how's it going? Yeah, Alma people can be stupid, but they can be great too. Okay, eyeshadows. Let's talk about eyeshadow palettes for a minute. I have a bunch out, and I'm just going to do a simple look. But some of my favorites, this is an all-time favorite, the MAC Connect in Color, and this is in Unfiltered Nudes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty. I've used that a lot in videos. These are not my colors, 
typically, but I love same thing, same pig, beautiful, easy to blend, no kickback, gorgeous. Uh, Callie, I just wanted to be tall enough to reach the dog. <laughs> it's like my mom. My mom's 5'2". I remember a drunk brother of a friend in university telling me I had good birth and hips one night. Yes. People have just got to stop talking about people's looks. Although I do it too. Uh, it is a compliment. It is a compliment. And now my youngest and she, it's all having a big bum. And I thought, wow, I, like I, I couldn't fit in. I played basketball and volleyball. They didn't have shorts big enough for me. Like I was so squeezed into those shorts. That was a large. You're five five. You're you're just a little like I'm. I'm five five and three quarters. I'm not much taller than you. Okay, so there's this one too. Recommendation. These are all great if you like those tones. Really pretty. I probably won't use for me the gold very often because that is kind of against my color palette, I think. I don't get the big bum. No, but like everybody's trying to look like a different ethnicity, a, a different culture. It's so funny. Like I will never have that bum. I would love that bum to a point. I don't know. My Like who said, Jody, ours are flat and long at this point. So I just would like it to get back to normal. Bum injections. Um, they do do that now, eh? They do fat transfers now? Okay, the other one is not for people in Canada, but people in the US can get the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette, also beautiful for the sale. You have a big butt, Alma? You're lucky. But then do you love your big butt or did you wanna have something, like we all kinda of want something we don't have, right? I think these big bubble butts look absolutely hideous, especially with tiny waists. Um, you know, some people are naturally built like that. Like a lot of darker, darker women are built like that. I know a girlfriend of mine, I worked with her at the Bobby Brown counter. Her name was Yolanda, is Yolanda. And she's beautiful, was beautiful. And she was so petite and she had that, she, I would say it was an athletic looking bum. And a perky bum. Let's just say that. She looks so good. I keep trying to shrink my butt. <laughs> they do all kinds of stuff these days. Yeah, they do, Alma. I don't know. How do you sit after having that? Okay, the other one, and I don't know if it's still available, but I believe it is. I love this palette. This is Huda Beauty, and it is the Cool Mats. Gorgeous. Sign we haven't heard if you like your bum yet. <laughs> I have problems buying pants because they'll fit fine everywhere and they'll be too roomy on my waist. My daughter has that issue too. Not a bad problem to have. You know, do you guys ever remember the kids children's place when we'd buy the kids their pants, but you had the elastic that you could make the waist smaller and button it up. That's what we need. What did you, Oh, I used um, to even out my eyes. I used painter. Uh, sorry. I used soft ochre paint pot, pot by Mac, but some people find that that's too matte for them and drying. For me, it's okay. Cool mats, uh, one of your favorites. Yeah, the the Huda. This one, love this one. Of course, we've seen this a lot because I've shown it a lot. Hold on. The makeup by Mario, the neutrals. That's one of my favorites. This one, the Huda, although I do love a shimmer. So hold on. And the other one is the Hyper Face Palette, also for people in the US for Sephora, if you're looking for the sale. I'm going way over here. We know that one, we love that one. I would say that I like those two, like, these are not as much my colors. So that's why I go for the neutrals. But if you're warm like Alma or you might like this one better, probably. Have you used this one before? What do you have in your kit? Uh, like pregnancy pants. Yeah. 
How close is the makeup by Mario uh, to the Vizier palette? Um, I would say that they're a little bit softer to the touch. Both really good, easy to blend. That's about it really, I think. It's just, it feels a little softer to the touch. Yeah. Butt makeup, Jody. <laughs> hey Robin, how's it going? Like if you have the Viseart palettes, I don't think you need the makeup by Mario. Probably not. Okay, so what am I doing tonight? Which one? Oh, the other one I I all I love is the Sultry palette. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the reason I love this, and it's probably in bad shape. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. But I love all the colors. And I've got my grays in here that's very hard to find. Oh, look at that. Oh, so pretty. That little silver. So I love that one too. Oops. I just kicked you guys. Uh, what am I missing? Anything? We're good. Um, so which one should I use? I've got the, we got Mac, Makeup by Mario. I've used this recently, so I don't feel like using that one again. Um, what did that palette ever do to you? <laughs> it's, it's old. It's been here a long time. Maybe I should use this one, should I? I love these. Which one? Or, or I can just do cream shadows. I did pull some cream shadows out too. The, um, I'm having a hard time finding Bobby Brown on Sephora's website as well. I love them. So I pulled out a lot of the Laura Mercier because they're easier to find. <laughs> so I could do that. Although I don't normally put those over top of painterly or soft ochre. But I could try use the cool neutrals of Makeup by Mario or the, the Huda. I love the Huda. I think Huda, right? This one? Oh, so pretty. Like, these are one and done shadows. They're so easy to apply. Let me see if I have a shadow brush. These are all Sephora brushes, by the way, except for this one. There's a lot, and they're good. Maybe Mac, haven't tried Mac in ages. Oh, Tara. Um, you know what, I'll add a bit of Mac in. How about that, so we do both. Maybe I'll, I'll build it up. Why are my, are my dogs barking? Oh, this is a real techniques. I have my window open. It gets so hot in here. I don't know if I have anything that will do this. Okay. So let's go into, actually, I'm gonna go in with that lighter color first and just put it all over my lid. Artist Couture Supreme Nudes are great. I haven't tried anything of Artist Couture. Where did you get them from Sephora? Oh, you hear the dog. That's Bailey and then Shelby. She just sits there and howls. He goes to the door. The Mac is so good. Okay, but should I have done one eye and one eye not? Shoot. Okay, online, are they still there? I feel like, okay. Um, let's go with a bit of this one. I'm gonna use the same brush. Callie, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of missing some stuff. So I have these two, oop from Mac. This is my favorite. I'm not a, as much, red can kind of make me look sick a little bit. The Huda palette's not that bad. I can't remember prices off the top of my head. I want to say it's less than 50 for sure. Oh, look at me. Hey, you guys, I wish you could talk to me. I look at some of my, my videos back and I have splooches and unevenness everywhere. I did some one the other day, look at that. I just almost kept talking with that. I did one the other day and I used the bronzer from Makeup uh, Forever 
and I had a big splooch. I get talking and I kind of don't care <laughs> as much about it. I'm more, I'm busy talking to you. Okay. That's going on pinker than I thought actually. This looks more neutral to me, this one, but it's going on quite pink. You know what? It's probably, uh, I love that palette to the browns. Did you get, has anyone tried the new cream palettes? There's one warm and one cool that she had or has that she came out with. Yeah, this is looking quite pink. And of course I'm fighting the pink in my skin. So I don't know if I'm loving this just because of that. Yeah, we uh, never see the sludge, the sludge. 44 dollars Canadian Tara. Okay, that's not bad. You get a lot and they're good. Okay, I need an empty brush. I'm heavy handed tonight for everything. Let me just blend that out. No, it's not new Robin. It's actually, they were out of stock with it for a while. Sludge, what are you saying, Jody? Sludge? What? <laughs> oh, the smudge. The smudge. Are you saying? <laughs> the splooch. <laughs> <laughs> I see it all the time. I'm looking at it going, oh my God. And I'm saying I'm a professional. You don't know. I'm really here to just chat with you guys and not really teach you anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I think my body's not liking me because I did all that um, physical work yesterday and today. Because even my eyes are red and I put drops in them today. Uh, is that one? It's pinkish. The rest must be that way too. Yeah, it is, right? They're all pinkish for sure. And usually I really like it, except for tonight I just feel really pink. Like really pink. I don't know. I feel like I want to go to the other palette. But I can tell you, I love this. I have a really nice video up here actually using this already. Maybe I'll link that in the description box because I'm not loving it tonight. Oh, let me just go on. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I don't have... Let me go with the Beely brush. So I'm gonna dip into this color right here. Let's just go for the dark. I think I need something darker. It's cool. It's definitely cool. There's no neutral in there. Um, and there's, so compared to, like this is warm more so. And that's cool. And let's see. Like comparing the two, this is more warm and this is more cool. Sometimes it's confusing. Like this is warm for sure. And then his other palette is neutral cool. I, yeah, I think we're distracting you. Yeah, as always, as always, that's okay. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna go right on the, um, you know, what's the name of this area? Lash line, that's it. Oh my gosh, did I tell you I got Lashify? I haven't tried them yet. I'm scared. I have to put, I have to do it on a video. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm not going to do it on a live. We'll be here forever. Any news? No, no, no news from Donna. She's probably drugged right up. Hopefully sleeping. 
She was having a hernia operation. So anything abdominal can be pretty painful, I think, especially I don't I didn't get the details, but I know that anything that I've had done in the abdomen, they've had to they blow you up full of air or whatever they blow you up with to see what they're doing. And that sometimes is the most painful part. So bummed, I can't sit and relax with your live. Getting packed to leave to, at the crack of dawn. Where are you going? Packing three kids, husband, and preparing three dogs to be left. Oh, Kelly, that's okay. You go. Where are you going? Well, we'll see. Robin, uh, I'll have a video up soon. I'm not sure when it's going to be. This um, We've got family coming this weekend. And my mother-in-law, she hasn't been home since COVID, since before COVID. She moved away and she's home. She arrived yesterday. So she's with my sister-in-law uh, today, but they're coming tomorrow. And of course, my son will be here. Just Nashville. Oh, right. Of course, Kelly. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, you have a great trip. Drive safe. Calm your husband down. Tell him we all said to calm down. And yeah, have a good trip. Okay, that's starting to look better. I think I just needed that um, depth. Maybe. All right. Angie Hot and Flashy. I'm going to go through some of these brushes with you one day. And I'll see if I can find like comparable, you know, uh, cheaper ones. I love this brush though, for the, the thinness of it and the fluffiness. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, you let us know when you're leaving Kelly. I have a couple of guests coming on with me soon. I've asked a few more. So one lady, her name is Kalanda. She's from Texas. And she's going to join me on here. How old is she? She's in her 60s. Can't remember how old she is. And I know her from TikTok. So she's going to join me one time and do a makeup video with me. She's text. She's got a little, a little accent. She's very sweet. Um, I don't think she's ever sworn, unlike me. I'm like a truck driver sometimes, not on here. But yeah, you like that, Callie? I do, I do too. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Yeah, I feel like I've, uh, that looks better. Once I get some black mascara on, it's going to all come together. How much red or pink so that eyes, that's exactly. Yeah, Valerie. So I worked on a, it was a, a commercial for History Channel or was it biography? No, it was for the History Channel in New York. And we worked with a Santa, I had to do the makeup, but he was a professional Santa. So what he would do was put red eyeliner on the inside of his eyes to make him, this was, he was a drunk Santa, just saying. So to make himself look drunk, he put the red eyeliner on the inside of his eyes. It can really make you look sick or not well. No, Stein's not leaving. Uh, no, Kelly's still with us. Okay. Do you guys have a time limit? <laughs> Here I am, just going along my merry way. Is it really a get ready me with <laughs> yeah. Have I yet? I may have. I probably have. Gosh. Oh my gosh, my kids. I swear more than my kids. But sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm just taking an empty brush now and making sure that that's blended. I'm kind of looking half without a mirror too. Let's discuss other, okay, so we got the eyeshadows. Those are the big ones. Does anyone tell me what you have on your list? Amy, me too, you're with me. Welcome to, <laughs> what do you have? So is anyone getting the mini Too Faced eyeshadow palette? There's minis of this now. I should show, I should tell you what's in my, can I even bring that up? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. 
I have all the expensive uh, products on my wish list. 40, 40, yeah, <laughs> 40 products. I have, oh, I'm actually going to try some Morphe powders. I've always had a little thing against Morphe, but the Morphe, there's a set, totally set mini brighten and set powder duo. There's a pink. It says sheer soft focus finish for fair to tan skin tones. And there's pink and natural. And that's only $17 Canadian. So that's one that's on my list. You have all night sign? Oh, perfect. <laughs> uh, your list is so long. Um, the minis, are the minis good quality? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so. I watched, I got to remember people's names. Cheryl, she's a Canadian here. She has dark hair. She used the minis and she liked them. They they looked really good. F and F, <laughs> Jody says. <laughs> I say that all the time. What the F? What the F's going on? Um, what brand was that? This is the Too Faced Born This Way palette. So they have minis. I believe they're, let me tell you, it's in my cart, I think. Hold on. Let me go back. The minis are $39. Mini Born This Way complexion inspired eyeshadow palettes. There's a cold smolder nudes. And then the, there is one that has some of these colors in there. $39 Canadian. I have the Givenchy uh, Lin something volumizing lengthening mascara. It's a new one. I want to try it. And I have in my cart Morphe Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. But these are all products that I want to try for you. Would I necessarily buy it for myself? Like if I didn't, wasn't doing this as a living? Probably not. Uh, I have Makeup by Mario Cool Neutrals Palette. Perfect. The Makeup Forever Concealer Corrector Duo. Makeup Forever Concealer Corrector Duo. What's that one? Is that the what the longer one? It's like a thin little palette. I've used that one if that's the one you're talking about. It has the corrector, the concealer, and two other colors. What do you say? And I'm not changing, Amy. Oh, and with the with the swearing, me neither. I also want the Givenchy Libre palette. It looks so pretty. It is. It's not like, you know, this is the thing. It's okay, it's good, but I know people say it's just the best thing ever. I, I don't know that I feel that way. I don't know. You know what, I'll do it. I'll, um, I have to switch my legs. I'll put one on one side and one on the other. How's that? You know what, while I'm thinking of it, let me do that right now. Hold on. I have it right here. Okay, that's where I learned my potty mouth from. My my mom would kill me, but my mom, she, she can swear. I mean, not crazy, but I always get the Dr. Dennis Gross alpha beta pods during the sales, use them every day. What are those? Alpha, alpha hydroxy? So the... <gasps> Is Ruffer having a sale? Ooh, I love Ruffer brushes. Um, okay, I'm getting all max, mixed up. Hold on. Let me get back into this. I've got the house labs I'll do on one side and the Prism Libre on another. Is this the right color? And we will see the difference. I don't know how clear you guys can see. Yeah, this is the three. It's always so much clearer when I film on my good camera, but I can't get it to work. Say the motherfucker. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, it's a concealer that has peachy tones, which people are saying it acts like a color. The Makeup Forever? Um, well, now I'm curious. 
Hold on, I've lost my palette now. Oops. Where's Sarah? Hey, Sarah. I know, I have that in my cart too. I, I do. I have that one in my cart. Oh, hold on, wrong one. Let me get this. I'm feeling so pink now that my neck is pink. Oh my gosh, I look like a clown right now. You guys, I'm not happy with this look at all. Hold on. I just feel so pink and inflamed. It is not my best look. Uh, Sarah, we just had a Sephora sale in Australia. Did you miss it? Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm, this is happening to me again. I've got, my phone is gonna die. Hold on a second. It's 20%. You guys are gonna go missing in a second. Hold. Um, what am I gonna unplug? Just a second. This happened to me the last time. Any hair products that you get from Sephora? Oh, hang on. Is that better? I don't know why that doesn't charge. Hmm. One second. No. Hang on. Yeah, Sephora sale in Canada. Is it happening April 4th? Okay, Kosis. Oh, you're talking to... Is it the Kosis or Kaja? And it's in a duo? It's in, Is it a cream? Oh, Antonia. Where am I missing here? They say the Givenchy is good for blurring wrinkles. Yeah, so many powders are, so. Okay, I, how am I gonna fix myself? This is not good. This is not good, hold on. I'm going to use, hmm, I must fix myself. Um, hold, I'm going to use maybe face and body. Maybe this is where the NARS will come in handy. It's just a concealer. And that's the Kaja or the Kosis? Because I have the Kaja. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Oh my God, that's not, just when I think I'm organized. Hold the phone. When am I gonna be rich and have an assistant? When is this happening? Wait, I gotta plug you guys in. <laughs> Just a second. Uh, I'm so prof Oh, that's not it either. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on. Yeah, that should be it. No, that's not it. Weird. Kosis. Yeah, I have that one, Robin. I thought so. Okay. I have that one and I have thoughts, um, but it all depends on, I'll get it. I'll get it for you. But before I do that, don't let me get distracted because before I do that, I've got to get you guys. 
your side. Of your oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Just a second. Oh my god! <laughs> Is anyone still with me? Oh my goodness. Hold on. No, that's not going to work either. Oh. Okay. For God's sake. Okay, I cannot. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, why? I think somebody needs to take that. Jody, that's why I said you need to come on with me. You can be like, are you any more organized than I am? Oh okay, the problem is, is that I don't have the cord that I need to plug in my phone. And I literally am, like, I'm going to lose you guys. I'm not kidding. Hold on. Oh, my God. Pause for a second. How am I going to fix this? Don't, where are my cords? So I got this thing that is supposed to charge. That's not going to work. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> an earthquake. <laughs> Oh, I'm sweating right now. That's not helping. Look at, oh my goodness. Shoot. Okay. I literally, one second. And I have my pajama bottoms on. Don't look. fix this problem. I'm going to lose you. And I don't know where my other cord is. Uh, yeah, that's not it. Why is that not it? Can you believe I'm on this live doing this? <laughs> okay, I have I have to go get another cord. Are you going to stick with me? Or should I just like call this a Okay, let me go get it. Don't judge my pajamas. Hold on. Oh my God. Okay, I got it, I got it. I'm covered. I can do it. Saving us from disaster. Oh, please don't throw the phone again. Yay, it worked. Ah! <laughs> okay. I was trying to get rid of my redness and I think I just created a whole other talk about having a hot flash. <laughs> oh my God. Don't ever come here expecting perfection. It will never happen. Hey, now I got to put my hair up for the love of, I can't believe I haven't sworn. <laughs> That's good. That's impressive. Okay. All right. Thank you. At least they match. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're back. We're good. Oh my. Okay. Now I'm back to these pink eyes. This is what I was going to do. I was going to put some of this NARS radiant light. Wait. Did I say it was? I said it in the beginning. And 
I'm going to fluff it on my neck and hope that I don't get it on my hoodie because the redness is insane. You're still in your pajamas? Oh, we're together, Linda. <laughs> okay, did that, is that better? I don't know, I feel like this is pretty pale right now. Now I feel like that looks a bit better. What's going on, Linda? Oh yeah, with your pajamas. I actually saw another creator on um, TikTok and she was saying that that's exactly what she does. She's dressed from the top or from the waist up all the time. Judging PJs totally. I need, I would really like a good pair of comfortable pajamas. Sometimes I just want to treat myself to like luxury, but I don't know. I don't, okay, let's see. If I do this, if I do the powder first, I'm not gonna use a cream bronzer, which is fine. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna use the, Givenchy on this side, number three packing it into my little refer brush. And I should put some concealer on actually. Let me do that first. Okay, favorite concealers, um, Huda Beauty, Faux Filter, love it. I've lost my whole thing now. Uh, House Labs and Fenty. All of them are my favorite. Plaid on PJ's old not look like it matched. It did look like it matched Cali or no? They they don't even like this is a this is a sweatshirt from Old Navy. And I don't even know. I think I got my my pajama shorts at the grocery store <laughs> at Joe Fresh. <laughs> okay. Is somebody going? Mm, okay, I think we're good. Oh, I did say the S word. Oh, I thought I didn't swear. <laughs> Callie Stan, like and subscribe. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, yeah, I need some concealer. Let me get some of that. I also like, let me see. I've shown you, and I also like uh, Laura Mercier, but I generally like a fuller coverage. And what's everybody else's concealer? I miss so much. Nicole, did you miss everything? <laughs> it was a disaster, Nicole. Oh my God. Old Hollywood. Yes, that's what I want, Sarah. I actually looked on... Um, let me see this one. Lily Silk. It's so expensive though. Hold on. Okay. I don't know if this is the right color. I feel like this is the wrong color. Yeah, it's too, shoot. I keep trying different colors of the house labs and I think I need number 11, light neutral. I have number 13 and it's too dark for my pale skin right now. Ooh. All right. Yeah, favorite concealer, everyone. Help me out. I'm gonna use the Huda, since I'm, I bought Huda anyways. This is Faux Filter, and I have it in, oh, why do I try? L'Oreal, I like that one too. This one is Coconut Flakes. Right now I use Chanel and it's nice, but always looking. For... So what do you like about the Chanel Robin? Let me just dot some here. That's what I'd like to know. Um, where did my, you should see my, now that I had that little episode, 
you should, <laughs> you should see my space. I mean, it was cluttered before. My current fave is House Labs. What color do you have, Melinda? Because I feel like I need 11. I'm really sure of it. Are you really dry under the eye as well? Let's clean this up. Sloan. Maybelline eraser. Oh, I haven't tried that one, Valerie. Who are you talking to, Nicole? Sloan? Hang on. I don't know. Am I missing something? Oops, wrong way. Yeah, this color is perfect for my concealer. Bouncing off my red skin still. Uh, it isn't too thick. House Labs is drying on me, but I am in the minority. Yeah, Kelly. Huh. What are you, are you setting with powder? What are you putting on underneath it? Is it too thick for you, do you think? Oh, I'm liking my eyes better now that it's starting to clean up a little bit. You know what? I'm going to, um, of course, I just threw that somewhere. Oh, there it is. Pfft. Yes, I was just making sure I had her name right. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, always looking for something that will perform a miracle. Uh, I have no natural oils. That's it. That's a tough one under the eye because there's really, I got to clean this up. This is way too pink up here. So I think I am going to get this year a CO2 combination with a Fraxel laser and they're going to do under my eye. Can't wait. Hmm. So would you be better off with something like this, like the um, Laura Mercier? Maybe that might be better. Like wh which one are you finding? works for you, Callie. I'm curious. There, that's starting to look better. Oh. I've really been enjoying my tour. I have that in my cart. What color do you have, Nicole? I just never knew what to get. So I have color Tower 28. I have three CC in my cart and I have I also have in my cart Tarte BB Blur tinted moisturizer oh and I have a hair tool it's the main it's giving body medium hot thermal round brush I have that one too I wanted to try a hair product oh yeah I have never had a PRP Melinda so, Nicole, what color do you have? It is the worst. I just did a home peel the other day. It, I actually feel a lot better now that I did that. Infallible works well for it. Really? Interesting. Because I find Infallible more drying than House Labs. I don't find House Labs. Um, okay, now I'm going to take a another fluffy brush. Try to blend out those edges again. Let's be a little bit more gentle this time. Uh, no ho. I don't know that one, Nicole. Shade, no ho. Oh, no ho. Okay. 10. Okay, I'll have to. You're darker than me, though, Nicole. Does Frax? Yes. Uh, yeah, so the, they're, the tool that uh, Nurse Chelsea's getting, she is getting a combination of H2, or sorry, C, CO2, and it's fractional. So it doesn't, yeah, I, I have learned about it because I went to a doctor's appointment already for a consultation to a different clinic, but I was only going to get my eyes done and I don't want to get that done. I want to get the whole face done and neck if I'm going to do it. And there's a girl, her, I'm actually going to try to have her on here too. She's not much of a makeup person as much as just so interesting. She's an interesting woman. Her name is Kelly LaValle, I think. She's out in BC. She's written books and um, she's really good with, I think she consults people 
for money, I believe. But she also gets on TikTok and does her makeup and hair and everything. So I, I'm going to try and have her on. Uh, she just had it done and her skin looks great. But it, there's downtime with it for sure. Okay, I feel like my eyes look so much better. All right, now I'm going to do the powder. Let's get back to that brush. So it's already loaded, ready to go. Let's see if this is magic. I try so many things, you know, I don't know. I think it would be work for you or you could go lighter. Okay. The 10. I'm so confused now. I'll look into that. Okay, that looks good. Let me do my forehead. I have to be honest. I'm really not liking, let's see what this looks like with the powder. But the foundation, I can see the foundation on me. Up here. So this side's the house labs. No, this side is hourglass. I did put too much though. I can't see it as much here. Oh my God, I didn't wear that, rub that in. I just keep tapping, tapping, cause I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking how this is sitting on my forehead compared to a liquid foundation. Who did you, Callie, you tried the Fenty? Which one? Okay, let me go to a different one. So this is the Givenchy, the new one, Callie. All right, Melinda, are you asking about that? I tried the new concealer and had to return it. Looked crazy dry on me. Is that the, the, the one I have right in front of me somewhere? Hold. It's the... Um, Oh, it's the skincare one, right? Okay, now I'm trying House Labs on this side. That red is popping through though. Not as soft as a of a brush. I like the other one better, the hydrating one. Oh, yeah. Did we talk about this last time, Melinda? I feel like we did. And this is why, you know, hmm, this is why one, it might work for me and it just might not work for you. That's why it's so nice to talk to people on here because we can see like what's, Melinda, what's your skin type like? And you said that you don't have any, any kind of natural oils underneath. Uh, the house labs, the powder, this is the translucent. Hang on. Yeah, translucent. That's right, Melinda. Everything everything behaves differently on, you know. Okay. Hmm. Let's let it sit for a minute. Yeah, Linda, you love the new Fenty? I do too. Finally, Callie. <laughs> Finally. Oh my God. It's always a roller coaster, I swear. No plans. Oh, this is it. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I have no issues with this one. I think, you know what it is for me? The house labs, given that I'm a dry, I have a dry skin type, normal to dry, this one still allows some life. This one mattifies more. And I like this side personally better on me compared to this side. I feel like this has kind of sucked the life out of me a little bit. Like I can get that back if I spray. But I don't have to do that with the house labs. I don't know if you can see that. To me, this still has a little bit of a glow. Like very slight. But this is very matte. And as a dry skin person, I don't like that. I need a little something. At least, at least most stores have good return. They do now, yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, you can see that Robin, like my skin looks like skin on this side and it just feels like I've lost it over here. Okay, good. So that's why I don't reach for this one as much, but I can see someone like Nikki LaRose using this all the time. And even Lisa J, she has more normal combination skin with some oils peeping, peeking through. That doesn't really happen to me. So, all right, bronzer. Um, I won't go into contour right now because, well, I can. I, I don't worry about, does everybody contour? I don't worry about that as often. I really like a bronzer. So a few favorites. Um, I think you may already know the one, which I've been using all the time, and I just go ham with it, and I'm realizing I need to be much more gentle, and that's the uh, Makeup Forever Artist bronzer, and my color is 15 Sand, so love this one. I love the Makeup by Mario. This is the light medium, and it's such, it's so dirty. I'm embarrassed. Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Love the Patrick Ta contour and bronzer. Love that one. I feel like that's too yellow for me right now. And that's how I can tell. If I put this beside each other, you shape your face with bronzer too? Yeah. You don't have to go crazy with that. Um, let me put these beside each other. And when I have a self tan, I can get so much to work. But as I'm fair right now, yeah, you see how he, this, to me, this one looks better beside my face. It looks softer. No, I think it ruins and changes your blush. Yeah. Yeah, it can kind of look dirty a little bit. I, I'm As I'm aging, I like the fresher look. I actually love the fresher look anyways on younger people. Um, so do you guys see the difference? This might just be too dark for me right now, considering my self tan is faded. Okay, so I'm not gonna use this one, but I do love it. Put that out of the way. And the other one I really like is House Labs. And again, the reason I like that is because you can see that I have redness in my chest and my neck, and this has some redness in it. So naturally, this is gonna pull everything together. It's gonna pull the color from my neck and my chest and even my hands up into my face, but I have to use a light hand. I actually love a yellow bronzer, <clears throat> not so much red. Right, Nicole, but do you, you probably have more yellow in your body, I, I would assume, because yellow on me, especially with the way I'm looking right now, it's gonna be so obvious, so obviously yellow. Uh, do you go through makeup? Oh, um, the Mario product fast that's the impression i get it doesn't go far i used it a lot like there's actually a lot of product there i can use this one actually even though i put powder on it doesn't matter because there's a lot of product there i hit pan but i just have to work my brush around the rest of it i can get a lot out of this still your cool tone stein yeah so you would be better off with something oh i do have in my cart it's a guerlain bronzer it's pricey, but it's it's got some pink in it. So I kind of wanted to try it. Was that how? Yeah, so this is House Labs. This is in number five. And I chose it. Let me just swatch it for you. Hold on. So this is number, hang on, on my very pale skin. That's number five in the House Labs. And then this is number, um, this is the, Sorry, that is Wild Sand, this one. So this one's much more red. This actually looks like the other color I got in Makeup Forever. Hmm, interesting. The House Labs feels more moist, more creamy. I feel like the House Labs ties into my body a little bit more. I'd buy it over and over. So I'm gonna go with the house labs. I kind of feel, what did you guys think? I feel like this one, you know what? Let me just do this 
here. Whoop, I got it on my shirt. Wait, wait, I'm putting a big splooch just so that we can see the tone. That's how slabs. And that's wild sand. Wait. This one works, the house labs, right? Cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then this one, hold on. This one is Makeup by Mario. That just looks more like a contour, which is fine. I think I'm going to go with the house labs. Okay, I'm going to use a light fluffy brush because I have been so heavy handed. And if you're like me and you're heavy handed, that's what you need to do. Go with a light fluffy brush. So maybe I will use, hold, um, maybe this one. I'm going to use a Beely brush. And I can kind of, I'm right, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna tap it <laughs> very lightly. Yeah, yeah, and if I take a step back, oh my gosh, color, woohoo, that looks so much better. Oh yeah, I'm not liking how this foundation is sitting on top here at all. I can see texture on my skin and I don't really have texture on my skin. Okay, so interesting. At least I didn't think I had texture on my skin. Hmm. Okay, that looks good. So if you're red like me, number five. I'm curious about uh, the other colors now. I think it's, I'm gonna get some, ooh, I'm leaving you again if I do that. I just have to get something, hold on a second, it's right there, wait. So, Hang on. I have, whoops. I have two other colors. And I think that this, that one, just to hourglass on the right. Yeah, the hourglass, it's fine here. It's just on my forehead, I'm not liking it but it could have been that I used too much. It could be user error for sure. Um, I just wanna see these two side by side. Okay. Is that where? Cause I was saying that the makeup forever. Okay, hold. Yeah, her name's Cher Makeup by Cheryl, she showed it. That's who I was thinking about. Okay, this is Makeup Forever. And this is House Labs. Okay, House Labs still wins for me, but let's blend it out. But the Makeup Forever definitely could work. Yeah, blend it out. They're actually both good. So, bye Jody. <sighs> Say hi to your daughter. I like the tone of the house labs. Okay, all right. So I, I actually will work on another video and I'll put these two beside each other at some point. But yeah, I'm... I'm liking this one, but I love the formula. The formula is definitely different. The House Labs definitely has a, um, yeah, creamier texture to it. Okay, I lost my brush. There we go. 
Yeah, I like the texture of that foundation here, but not on my forehead. How strange. Pretty though, eh? Yeah, I like this. I'm really glad I did that. Okay, good. I feel like I went a little bit low, but nothing's perfect tonight. That's okay. Let me just go in with my foundation brush. Blend it a bit better. Blend, blend, blend. Um, that looks better on the side. What foundation is on the side? Okay, this is the Merit, and this one is the uh, Hourglass. This side never looks as good as this side because of that hyperpigmentation, though. I can't wait to get that removed if I can ever get that. Well, yes, I'll still uh, top it with a blush for sure. So I love the makeup, the Patrick Ta blushes. I love, I brought a few of them out. Let me just clean up my space a little bit. I need mascara on, then everything will, oh, I have the house labs as well. I don't know, should I try the new formula? I love the house labs blushes. Um, my favorite blushes are Dior. These ones, they're just so easy. They're really pretty. I never get heavy handed and I think you all know that I can get heavy handed really easily. And I don't, I don't have to worry about that. Um, Callie said, what did you say? House Labs is the best, Julie, yeah. Okay, so, so I love the Dior. Um, Makeup by Mario, really love this one as well. Love this formula. I probably reach for this one more than this formula. I don't know why, not really sure why. If you're in the U.S., the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Blush is gorgeous. So pretty for the Sephora sale. You can get this in Canada, too, from Beautylish, but it just isn't going to be on sale. And, and I really liked, but I don't want to use this tonight, the Tarte Maneater Blush as well. But I feel kind of powdery tonight, so I don't really want to do that. Oh, and I liked um, Tower 28 as well. It's also really pretty. The Dior Rosewood Blush is divine. Yes, I love it. Um, so is there no issues using creams over pet? Not necessarily. In fact, that's how Patrick Ta wants you to do it with his blushes. He wants you to do the powder first and then the blush. Hey, I need to, um, let me get a mascara on here. I did get that Clio mascara in that I've been talking about getting, but I don't want to, should I use that in this video? What are your favorite mascaras? That is what I'm on the hunt for. I'm actually excited about the new mascara I have. Yeah, it does depend on the formula, <laughs> excuse me. Like I wouldn't put Merit blush over top of this because it's quite wet. And it also depends on how you apply it. So if you're just pushing it on the skin, then that's different. But this one I find, it's which color, Robin? So this one is Merit. And I really like it. I just find um, it, is, it is really, you know what? It is really pretty. Okay, let's put that beside, that's Merit. And then I'm gonna put that beside this one. They're different colors, but I just wanna see the pigment difference. Oh, do you? I am so bad with the lashes. I like the RMS blushes too, kind of glowy. Okay, so you see the difference? This is Makeup by Mario. And it also dries down where this one feels still wet. That's the thing about this one. It's quite sheer and this one dries down. This one really doesn't feel like it dries down. 
Oh, then the not too much. It's so pretty. Okay, so we see those ones. Now I have, there are blushes that I haven't tried. Wait, I gotta get a mascara on. I keep getting distracted. I'm going to use my, okay, I need to get all these brushes out of the way. Did I, I think I was just intending on using that Cleo mascara because I'm curious and that's not even a Sephora thing. I need new mascaras because I've let a lot of them dry out. And so I'm not really happy with how any, oh, I brought this over. This is a MAC mascara. You like the Bite? My favorite mascara is Bite Beauty. Oh, okay, but there are no more. So I'm also in the hunt for the new, you're on the hunt for the new one. Benefit, their real magnet mascara, I really like. Okay, I don't think I've tried the magnet mascara. I like FanFest a lot, but I went to show it the other day and it was dried out, but I really liked it. Oh, I do have in my cart as well, the new Tarte Tubing Mascara, it says XL. I really liked it before. I don't know why it only had a three star on it. I really liked it. Chanel La Volume is great, but pricey. Is it a, vo so obviously volume. Okay, where would I get Chanel products here in Canada? Because Nordstrom left, maybe the Bay, Holt Renfrew probably. Yeah, those hard brushes, like I really like Benefit Their Real mascara, but that darn brush has almost taken my eye out a few times. So those plastic brushes I stay away from, they hurt. It needs to be kind of flexible. Oh, this is pretty. I like YSL Lash Clash. That's pretty, guys. Which one is this? Dimensions in Extreme Mac. In Extreme. Oh, I got it right. In Extreme Dimension. That's pretty. I've also tried Rare Beauty. It is, is it anything like Bite? I haven't, who's tried Rare Beauty? I tried a little uh, mini size of that and I didn't find that it wowed me that much. I do like Tower 28. Somebody said that the Tower 28 quickly one person said this, so don't go by that, but one person said that it flaked, it dried out pretty fast. Yes, Don, you like it? I think that looks good. I'm glad I pulled this one out. Maybe I don't need to try a new mascara. This is my wonky eye. Honestly, I can't believe sometimes I fall apart on here with you guys. Favorite Armani eyes to kill but pricey. Does it last a long time though? Because sometimes we can think that we're getting a deal, but then if it doesn't last as long, then, you know, I think sometimes that's how we get it. We get scammed a little bit, sometimes, not always. Oh, I'm really liking this a lot. I got some on mine. You didn't like the, is, yeah. It didn't create a lot of volume, eh, Callie? I'm really liking this. My lashes are soft and fluffy. What a difference black mascara makes when you have pink eyeshadow on. Just switched to the Dior waterproof and it's hard to take off. I use Clinique, take the day off away and I always have it. Oh, interesting. Um, you need something with an oil. You need like a biphase, like a, I know Garnier has one that they have the biphase. So you need a touch of oil to be able to get that off. So some bombs just won't do it. 
That's more for the face makeup, but not for a waterproof mascara. I used to use baby oil when I was growing up. It works, it gets your eye, um, it leaves a film on my eye if I were to use it, but I still have it. Well, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'll stick with MAC. This is the Giga Black, extended play Giga Black Lash. I'm running last a really long time. Always surprised. Okay, see that? And I think that, oh, I don't have anything on my bottom. Maybe I'll just leave it without a shadow underneath there tonight. I'm taking forever, so that might be a good idea. Yeah, baby oil works. You just have to go to bed afterwards because you wouldn't want to try and read a book or anything because your eyes are all, you know, a little bit goopy from the oil. But it works for sure. Cheap. There was another product that we used to have at, uh, oh God, here's me trying to remember a name again. Old school Jody. yeah. I use Clinique Yellow Pump Cream and it takes, oh, the Dramatically Different? The, the actual moisturizer? I lost a lash, I think. I have to, uh... I have used the Biosense oil as well, and it's tough to, yeah, I, that I have, I own that one, and I use that as a moisturizer. I actually use the Biosense oil mixed in with my Eucerin uh, moisturizer, and it just kind of holds everything together and makes me feel moisturized for longer. I wouldn't use that as an eye makeup remover. That's, that's squalene oil. I don't know. Not, I don't even know why I say that, except for that that wouldn't be my first choice. Um, you definitely have to be patient with that, with a waterproof. You've got to... Oh, there are my, my top and bottom lashes dancing with each other again. Get off of there. Anyone else have that happen? Um, oh, interesting. Because we used to give that to people who even had oilier skin. I used baby oil as tanning lotion and it was young and stupid. We all were. The um, So if you take your cotton pads and you put, you know, mush your makeup remover on your mascara with oil and let it sit and really kind of just work it in and massage gently and then put your um, your cotton pads, like soak them in hot water and let them sit there for a bit. It should be a little bit easier. Oh, it's the cleansing oil. Oh, the Biosans, you mean, Robin? Oh, and I didn't get it off. Oh, huh. That's interesting. Well, that's tough stuff to get off. I don't think I'd like that because I don't want to rip. My eyes are old. I don't want to rip up my skin to try and get a product off. Okay, I'm going with the Benefit Precisely my brow number two, which is warm golden blonde and my eyebrows are tinted so they don't really match, but whatever. Yeah. So I guess it'd be great for a wedding. Do you like wearing it or I guess it would hold your curl, wouldn't it? So I made Texas potatoes. They're so bad for you and they're so good. And they're sitting in the fridge, ready to put, be put in the oven tomorrow. Full of cheese and sour cream and oh, so good. Cement. Have you used it too, Jody? Did I get that even? I love the look, but I don't have oh, There you go. I dropped you again. Oh my God. Yeah, earthquake, earthquake. Sorry, my foot hit the cord. <laughs> Is it time for bed yet? We call those funeral 
Oh yeah, the funeral potatoes. <laughs> oh my God. Robin. So I have like, you should see me. I'm full of cords. I'm surrounded by cords, especially after I just had to go find more cords. And yeah, I just took my foot out from underneath me. <laughs> it's like cement old school. I chalked on my <laughs> you choked on your lunch. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh okay, back to it. How many times is that did that just happen twice or I feel like that's happened a couple times now? <laughs> Oh God, why? It wouldn't be me. Imagine if something went smooth, like the whole way. You guys would be wondering, what the heck's going on? Where's Julie? Bring her back. Um, where were we? <laughs> This is the benefit precisely my brow in warm golden blonde. <laughs> you never know where you're going to end up, Nicole. You might be looking up at the ceiling at the floor at my messy counter. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, still, yeah, once again, sweating. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember when I used to cut hair and when I was first learning how to cut hair. I messed up my friend's haircut and he was so, did I tell you this story? I feel like I told you this story. And he was so worried about it, worried about his bald spot that was happening that when he took the mirror to look at the back, that's all he saw, but he didn't notice that I took a little chunk out of his hair cut. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I remember just when that happened, I went <gasps> and the sweat, I just got so hot. <laughs> Valerie. Oh, everybody else has a professional setup. <laughs> I'm just like, Julie, is Dr. Chelsea, oh, Nurse Chelsea? Yes, yeah, she's on next week. Yeah, so I'm excited for her. I feel like we can really keep her busy. She probably won't want to be on here for as long as we typically are. But I have all your questions ready. I'm excited for that. I have questions and actually it's funny because now that she's coming on, even people over on TikTok are asking me more questions about some of my uh, skincare treatments that I've had up. And I think we're going to have more people because I I don't know, but I have been telling everybody to pop over and that she would be available to us. Okay. Now that I'm looking like a normal human being, we've got Rosewood. Or this one, or we can go, I'm feeling either this or house labs like this. Um, I feel like I want to go with this just because I'm so fighting my redness so much. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, Callie. I think she'll eventually be a doctor, to be honest. I don't think Pomelo Peach. Or I can try a uh, Patrick Ta blush as well, which I have here in front of me. Either one. So Rosewood. Okay, Rosewood is one. And then I'll just show you the options for Patrick Ta. If somebody wants to see it for the sale. I've got this one. This one is, I think I already showed this in my last live, I feel like. I can't remember what this one, this one's quite bright. Um, yeah, Jody, I think you'll like her. Uh, this one's actually, this is the not too much. I have used this in quite a few videos. That would look very pretty though. And this one, this has more of a, I don't think this one will, Rosewood would, okay. Yeah, Rosewood, you think? Let's go Rosewood. These tones aren't that far off, actually. Let's see. Yeah, hold on. Well, so very similar, not too far off. Can I just get that? There we go. 
rosewood and this one is called oh if i could just see um she's flushed which one rosewood but is that gonna go with your eyes i think melinda i think we've got i think we've got going the rosewood or the i think not too much would go with everything to be honest i think that would go with so much you don't really have to worry about that one okay rosewood okay pretty yeah they're similar right sign i like having i like every having everything here I mean, it's absolute chaos right now, but I like it all beside each other so we can see. Oh, you have that one in your cart? You're going to love it. The not too much. Good. This side always looks darker from my splooches. And again, I'm just going to go around. Yeah, just, just to make sure that it's all blended. Yeah, I like that, Callie. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's better. I always have to blend this one out. I think that looks better. I might just take, I feel like I do want a bit more bronzer up here maybe, or is that just me? like just a touch more now that I've got everything going I feel like I need a bit more color yeah it's not they're all so soft that's why I like them Callie they're really soft you can't go wrong and especially like I said because I'm so heavy-handed um, I need that because I can get out of hand pretty fast Okay, I'm almost done, guys. Um, lips. Lips can be anything. I really love the new Maximal lipsticks from MAC. Um, some glosses that I always go back to are my Pat, or some, my Pat McGrath glosses. They're just special colors. The formula is not crazy different than anything else. It's not sticky, but they're just unique. Um, I really like the Laura Mercier glosses. This is one I'm going to show you. This is the one I carry in my purse all the time. Um, I saw today where Beauty launched some new... Yes, I have a couple in my cart, Elise. Elise, have you been here the whole time? Wait a minute. I don't remember saying hi to you. Have you been here the whole time? Okay, so this is a just one that I stick on when I'm in the car without anything else on. And... I find it moisturizing, like nothing, no goopies. And we'll use highlighter. I often don't, but I can. Um, yeah, no goopies. It's not a plumping or anything, but it just adds that really nice color. And I don't really feel like I need a lip liner. Hi, Elmo. Oh, you had a phone call? I'm glad you're back. Yeah, it's just a nice every day. Right? I don't need anything new, but do I? <laughs> I just find, yeah, I just find that this is, uh, you don't have to think about it kind of lip. So what color is that? Let me see if I can tell you. I'll, I'll get everything in the description box for sure. But this one is creme brulee number 35. It's nice for me to say it so it's easier for me to look up. So that one I like. Um... I also, this is a lighter one. Where's that other one? Hold on. I don't know if the, I like this one as much. At least I got on shade of waiting. Okay. This is a lighter peach. I like it. I like the other one better on me. I feel like it adds more color, but the texture is still the same. No goopy. 
No, uh, was the Mac? Was the wait? What foundation do you have on? Alma, um, I have two on. I have, as I usually do on here, I have Hourglass on this side, Stick Foundation, Vanish Stick Foundation. And I have um, Merit on this side, the Perfect Complexion. In general, I like this one all over my face. I'm finding the Hourglass is kind of sticking to some texture on here, but everything else looks good. It just might be me, you know. I didn't realize that I had texture. No, that was Laura Mercier. I'm sorry. These are both Laura Mercier. MAC lip glosses, um, depends. They have a couple different formulas, but some can be a little bit more sticky. I don't mind sticky, as long as they don't give me the goobers that stick together. Um, okay, always camo. Creme brulee. Yeah, the creme brulee is um, Laura Mercier. And, all right. Where did my lipsticks go? I have no idea. Um, I've done a lot of lipstick videos in the recently. YSL Candy Glaze, I really like. It's again one of those um, one and done kind of thing. It's always out of stock though, that's the problem. So this is more of a bomb, more opaque than the other one, than the Laura Mercier. I have a couple of the new ones in my cart. They're like an oil. They're not the candy glaze, so they're not as shiny as this one, the new ones. So I have a couple in my cart. I don't know if I'm going to get them. I might delete them. I can't spend that much money. Uh, I like some sticky. It lasts longer. That, exactly. So this one is number 15. Really like this. I bought this for my mom. And... Oh, I want to try, wait, is this the, I wanted to try this color on again and makeup, sorry, makeup by Mario. Um, some of their, lip, his lipsticks. I'm trying to think of colors because I need to wrap up here soon. And I want to try this color on. And then I'm going to. How old is your mom? My mom? My mom's 72. She looks great. Let me tell you. Ruby Woo. No, that's not the one. Oh, Forever Curious. I wanted to try this because in my lipstick video, it looked... Oh. Hmm. The description of Forever Curious... I think it's like a pinky red. Let me know what you guys think. I did not like the YSL and gold tube. To, it's, it is slippery. Your mom hates everything new. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, yeah, Stein, you sorry. You live in Florida? What's the weather like in Florida right now? This does not go with this look, but I had to try it out again. That's a pretty color though, eh? It feels almost, I wouldn't describe this as a pinky red. It's beautiful now, oh, you're so lucky. This does not go with this look, but I'm glad I tried it. Okay. Um, my mom will try things, but sometimes I think it's just to support me. She does like nice things though. Okay. My lips are dry. Um, let me get something on. I'm not gonna go back to that stick. You like that shade? Me too, I just don't like it with this look. Like with the eyeshadow. Why didn't I have more lipsticks out here? Um, oh, hold on. I forgot that I organized and I forgot where I put them, but they're here, I think. 
Yes, they are here. Okay. We decided, Jody and I, we felt the same way about um, Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick. Some of them, I, we feel like we get a little bit of a rim. So we're not a fan of that. Um, I did get a new makeup by Maria, one I wanted to try as well. So sure, Bronx Baby, but I don't know where I put it. Nolita, I really like. Um, what's this one? Midtown. The Yes, the red, you like that one? I like it too. 1917. Nine, nope. Tribeca. Process. I don't know where it went. Okay, let's try Nolita. That will go nice with this. Huh. Yeah. I would say Nolita is my favorite out of the Makeup by Mario. Yeah. You like that one? Okay. Uh, lip liners. Let me talk about lip liners for, oh, and let's, I'll do a little highlight, I suppose. Lip liners. I really like Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Super Size Me, I like. Pillow Talk 2, I really like. My hair's a mess. Um, I like ABH uh, Muted Mauve and Rosewood really pretty. Um, buxom lip gloss always for plumping and it doesn't bite too hard. I really like that one. You didn't think so, Callie? Huh? I feel okay. Um, I was going to show you this is iconic London and it's their illuminator. I used this the other day in a no foundation look. Was it ever pretty? I actually showed that look. I didn't do a tutorial, but I kind of just got on and said, look at my makeup. I really like it. And I didn't, I hardly had any foundation on and I used this. It was really pretty. Let me see. I almost want to use a, um, a sponge for this. This is where I might use actually an Angie Hot and Flashy. <laughs> just tap it on. It just looked um, wet, but not glimmer, like not, um, it didn't have shimmer. It just looked really wet. Dropping the loose. <laughs> I'm a mess, I swear. Oh, if I should take a picture and post it in the community tab. It's really bad. Uh, Too Faced, I'm thriving is a great. Oh, I haven't tried Too Faced lipsticks. Is that too much? I don't think so. I kind of feel like, listen, Julie, right now with your hair down, it may, ah, uh, I think I get that a lot, actually. Isn't that funny? And I get, um, yeah, look at how pretty that is. It's so, I don't know, it's elegant. Unless I'm just lying to myself, might be. Try the wet YSL over that lip. Okay, the number 15. Should I put a bit here? Is that too much? Am I going crazy? Probably. This is what happens. Put the brush down, Julie, put the brush down. Um, no, it's a, it's a liquid, it's a fluid. Like it just drops, sorry, I should have showed you. Drops out like that. It's really pretty. They sent this to me a long time ago and I kind of just set it aside. I did it for one video and I was cleaning the other day. Um, I wish I could show you the difference between that and a couple others. Like there's no glitter in it. So I think that's why I like it so much. Oh, 
hot flashes. Put the brush down. <laughs> but that's it. Oh, I could though. I could. If people like it, you could put a dab. Although I do kind of feel a little old for that. And I know there's no age limit, but if I wanted to, I could just put a little bit of that highlight right in there. I don't even know if you can see that. It's going in your cart. Yeah, it's pretty. And you know, you could, I hope you like it, Callie. I really like it. And I'm not a highlighter kind of person, but I feel like it doesn't accentuate my texture, which is very rare. I don't think it does. I feel like it just looks like glass. Yes, Iconic London. And I, I'll, I'll link it for you. I can't read it. Look at how small the writing is. How on earth? <laughs> I'm supposed to read that. Yeah, I can't see it at all. Oh, and you wanted this. I didn't put any lip liner on, but. Uh, so this is number 15 over top. It is a thicker consistency. But I like that. It won't be clean on your straw. That's for sure. Kelly, yes. What color is highlighter? Julie, I can't read it, Kelly. I'm going to have to put it in the description box for you. I can't literally, I don't know if you can, like, there's, there's just no way. There's no contrast even. Like, I don't know who can read this thing. I'm going to have to take a picture of it even. I need a magnifying glass. I have tried super goop. And I really like it. I might uh, bathe in that highlighter. <laughs> Um, I have tried super goop and I like it. I don't like the, the shiny one though. I only like the sheer because I don't want shine everywhere. I have texture. If I have shine everywhere, first of all, I find that if you have shine everywhere, the other person doesn't, their eye doesn't know where to look. Like I always would strategically add a highlighter because you, that, that's what make that's what's bouncing on my face now. Now my the focus is on my cheek and the um you you'd just be confused being the person looking at you. I honestly I and as a professional makeup artist, I've just never understood that whole thing to have the whole face shiny. You look plastic. I don't know. I I like real looking. So, I mean, it does kind of look plasticky here, but I don't know. I still look real. I still look night, Jody. Oh, Jody, you didn't leave yet. <laughs> oh, get some sleep. You're going to have to have some coffee to talk to your daughter. Um, I got a sampler and I used it under my makeup and it was very pretty. Yeah, so pretty. It, it's great. I like sale and I just got NYX liquid highlighter. Amazing. No glitter. I, that's what I like, Kelly. No glitter. Exactly. Um, Valerie, you don't like the highlighter? That's okay. I You don't like the highlighter everywhere or you don't like this either? I don't like it all over. Like I, I don't, um, so the, the super goop, the one with the shine, I don't like. I don't, that's why I didn't like Makeup by Mario, the foundation, because it had that iridescence in it and I didn't like that. So I think any other questions, guys, before I take off? I feel like I've been here forever again um, with a few mishaps. <laughs> oh, God. No, the super goop. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. But I like the unseen. I do like that one. I just feel like it's a lot of, um, like, I, I do like the Korean brand, that Skin 101, yeah, 1004. And... Yeah, I'd like to try some others, but I've got a, um, yeah, have a fantastic night, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, I, I will show you that, Valerie, if you want. So this one here, the skin, um, it's a Centella, Skin 1004 Centella. It's creamy, 
and I think you may have seen it. It's really, really light, very hydrating. And yeah, it's so light. There's no stick to it. Really pretty. It's like skincare. And it goes really nice under makeup. Never have an issue. Yeah, me too, Melinda. Me too. Thank you. Have a happy Easter, you guys. I'm not going to get on here on Sunday because my son's here and we've got family and I'm just going to cancel for Sunday. But I will get back. I'll be here next Thursday night with Nurse Chelsea. So um, if you're not interested in cosmetic treatments, it's not for you. It might just be interesting for you to listen to, but I think we're all curious. So we'll be answering all your questions or she will be. Yeah. And, uh, enjoy your families, everyone. Thanks Stein. Yes, Kelly. Yeah. That was an SPF 50 PA plus, 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 plus. Thanks guys. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for sticking it out and, uh, I'll see you later. And we'll check in on Donna too. I'll let you know in the community tab if she gets a hold of me. Bye guys.